Hi, it's Congresswoman Jan Tchaikovsky with my plans and pans again. Um, well, yesterday on Friday, the 2nd of April, there was an attack at the Capitol. And I wanted to pay my respects to William Evans, the Capitol policeman who lost his life when a man drove his car right into him and another Capitol policeman. And so we have another loss of, of life at the Capitol. It's a very, very sad and we give our respects to his family and also make sure that we have sufficient protection at the, uh, at the Capitol, including for our wonderful Capitol Police. We thank them. Um, well, um, the president has uh, announced and released the American Jobs Plan, which is really the infrastructure plan. You know, the, the last round was the um, re rescue plan, and now this is the rebuilding plan. And it's about $2 trillion this time that is really going to um, be transformational in terms of what it's going to do for the country. Of course, when you talk about infrastructure, you're talking about bridges and, and, and roads and, and mass transit, but we're also talking about delivering clean water and we're talking about building or rebuilding or rehab, rehabbing two million homes and places of business, commercial property, um, and veterans' homes and schools. It's going to make such a difference on the landscape of our country. One of the things that especially hits home with me is that there is going to be $400 billion to expand home and community-based health care. And not just for the people who need it, which of course is the primary importance, but also for the workers to make sure that these caregiving jobs are good jobs with good wages and that people have the right to organize into a labor union. So that has been something that I have been working on for many, many years. I also wanted to um, talk to you about um, something that my office does. Actually, all the congressional offices are invited to do the congressional art competition for high school students. I'm telling you this now because the deadline for submissions is April 14th. And if you have a teenager, if you are a teenager that is in high school in the 9th Congressional District, we would love to see your contribution. What happens is that there is a, um, we, we have judges who actually help select the most um, worthy project or, or painting. Um, th these are gonna be framed items that will be in the Capitol for a whole year on display. It's really quite wonderful to see all the art talent that we have. Um, so get that, get that into us and we will put them all together and then we will have the contest. There's also a second and third place winner. So we hope that uh, our students will participate this year. Also wanted to tell you about something new with the Affordable Care Act tax credit. My good friend and now head of the Department of Health and Human Services has announced starting immediately a new tax credit, additional help for people who need to be able to pay for their health care, health care coverage. It starts, as I said, immediately. And if you have already enrolled, you might want to go again to healthcare.gov and see the updated benefits that can be available to you right now to make the health insurance more afford affordable on the exchange. And if you're having trouble with that or if you have questions about that, you can still call our office for help. Also, there is now open enrollment right now through August 15th. 
Um, and, and so, as I said, even if you've already enrolled in the Affordable Care Act, you can now do it again. Or if you missed enrollment, this is your time until August 15th to, uh, to, to sign up. And I also um, have to talk to you about COVID. Well, you know, I've been warning all these months over a year now to, to take care. And unfortunately, what we saw in Illinois was a sharp increase in the number of cases. And this has been true in many places around, around the, the country as, as well. And so there has been a pause by the governor on the future um, opening. Hope, hopefully we'll get back in, in the downward trend um, once again. Um, so we know that there were, that there are or have been um, six million plus people who have been vaccinated in the state of Illinois. And if you are still having trouble please let us know so that we can we can help with that. But it does seem to be that those are now more available, um, not only more doses, but to more categories of people. So we're hoping that you're having an easier time getting that date and going for, for your vaccine. It's a beautiful weekend. This has been a, a really interesting and, and um, a wonderful time for reflection because this has been the Passover season. Um, we've had Good Friday and tomorrow um, is Easter. And we've also had Ramadan. And, and so we hope that this special time is one of optimism, of hope for the future, of better times in, in our country. And the temperature is going up. So I hope you're enjoying this weekend and hopefully it'll extend into, into next week. And I'll see you next week. Thanks so much. Thank you for watching my video. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, where my handle is at Jan Schakowsky.